I mean, my, uh, my vision for this agreement is you would actually have two long-term goals. One would be a phase out of greenhouse gas emissions to net zero by optimally CO2 by 2050 and greenhouse, all greenhouse gas emissions by 2070 or so. That would give you a high probability of, of staying below two degrees. And a resiliency goal to build adaptive capacity in communities around the world. I think that is only successful if you couple it with a five-year cycle. And a long-term goal alone is not going to get you what you need. So the debate about what's the target that countries sign up for in Paris? Is it a 2025 target or a 2030 target? How often do they come back to the table to strengthen that is absolutely fundamental for the success of Paris in my book. We can't wait until 2030 <laughs> to say, oh, okay, we're now going to uh, look at what level of ambition we have. It, the impacts are happening too fast. The science is evolving too fast.